वेलकम क्लास इलेवन मई सेल्फ श्रद्धा आल बी टीचिंग यू कंप्यूटर्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद आर कंप्यूटर सिलेबस बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद आर फर्स्ट टॉपिक आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू अ क्विक figure of what all units will be covered in your syllabus see there are basically four units first unit is programming and computational thinking in which you will be learning the front end programming that is python unit 2 is data handling where you will be learning all the pandas data frames okay sql queries unit 3 is again data management where you will be learning dbms that is database management system and the last unit that is unit 4 is society law and ethics where you will be learning all cyber safety cyber securities so now we will start with our first unit first topic very very basic so basic computer organization what is basic computer organization basic computer organization is nothing but introductory part what actually a computer is computers hardware and software categories of software categories of hardware what is computer memory that all you will be learning in this chapter okay students now tell me what is computer computer is an electronic machine that allows set of instructions in order to do the processing on the data and transfer this into information so computer is an electronic device which performs arithmetic and logical units okay so computer in computer you put out all the data it gets the processing and it gives you out that information so which all are the basic functions of this computer see it accepts data gathering that is it accepts the input it does the processing it stores the data and it gives you out the output which all are the components of this computer can anyone tell me So basically there are two components of computer one is tangible one is non tangible tangible comes the hardware which you can touch which you can feel what is non tangible software is a non tangible that means you can deal with the software but you cannot touch the software okay then what is memory memory is nothing but the storage unit where you actually store the data okay so this memory is used for storing the data so memory unit consist of primary memory and secondary memory primary memory is having ram random access memory and rom that is read only memory secondary memory is your punching card your magnetic tape your memory card your floppy disk your optical disk your hard disk your pen drives okay this all are what secondary memories okay now we will turn towards what is rom rom is a primary memory which contains pre programmed computer instructions see rom means the basic instructions gear given in a read only format in your computer which allows or which gets triggered when just you on your computer that is when your basic input output system gets on that is your bios okay that is rom what is ram ram is a random access memory so see for example if you have open any powerpoint file or word file and you have just started with typing it and you have yet not saved somewhere so where this temporarily gets saved this temporarily gets saved in ram ram is a temporary memory see if you have not saved the data and the, if there is a power cut so whatever file you have open whatever 10 20 lines you have type all will get erased 
so we always keep an habit of saving a data on your hard disk say d drive e drive that means it gets saved in the secondary memory okay now we will turn towards the third unit that is input devices which all devices are used to accept the data inside the computer can any one of you tell me okay see the keyboard the mouse joystick microphone web camera scanner monitor this all are what input devices basically we use keyboard and mouse while playing games we use joystick while drawing uh, the artists they use the pens joy uh, okay light pens then optical character reader is been used okay magnetic reader is used scanners you all must be knowing so this all are what this all are input devices keyboard are of different types traditional keyboard flexible keyboard then ergonomic keyboard wireless keyboard pda keyboard so it depends on qwerty keyboard qwerty means the keyboard which we are using okay in normal keyboard that is traditional keyboard mouse again is of two types one is mechanical a type of computer mouse that has rubber and metal ball so there is a ball which keeps on rolling it's underside and it can roll in every direction optical mouse it is a type of mouse which uses laser for detecting the mouse movements which all are pointing devices students you track ball track point touch pad touch screen this is all are what pointing devices so you all know about stylus stylus is a pen which is used for uh, teaching for drawing for operating your touch screen joystick light pens okay scanning devices which is used to convert a hard copy into a soft copy if you want to make a memory album of your parents marriage so you will scan all you will convert all the hard copies of the album into a soft copy and you can create it so that is scanning devices image capturing devices camera digital cameras okay now we will turn towards the fourth unit that is output devices which all output devices are there and what is basically output device output device is a device which is used to give out the output generated by a computer so which all output devices are there can anyone just recall it yes the camera web camera speaker printer headphone microphones web cameras this all are what output devices okay see so printer and scanner scanner is used to convert a hard copy into a soft copy so it is input device what is printer printer is a device which converts soft copy into a hard copy so it is output device now what is secondary storage devices or secondary memory your hard disk then your cd your floppy disk your pen drives your memory card your other storage units this all comes under secondary storage unit okay now we will turn towards the battery what is battery battery is responsible for powering every device in your computer so to see to on the computer what you basically require is a power electrical power so from where does a stable power get supplied to all the units of the computer from the battery okay disk drive connector motherboard so students we have seen different aspects of computer this all were the basic fundamentals of computer so so far we have seen what is computer computer two components hardware and software in hardware we have seen input devices output devices in software we have seen memory units in memory units again we have seen primary memory and secondary memory 
then we have seen what is battery okay so you all are requested to be in touch with the basic fundamentals of the computer organization you all have to go through the topic read the first topic try to solve the exercise in your notebook you have to make a notebook for a computer where you will be jotting down all the exercise questions and answers okay students have a good day we'll meet for our next lecture bye